What is up guys, Pranked39, and I haven't made a video in a while, and that's just because of lots of things going on. <clears throat> but anyways, here we have my LEGO Colt M1911. Now, it may look like a piece of crap to you, but to me, this is very cool because it's just really hard trying to make a pretty functioning, in a way, small creation. So, yeah. Yeah. We're going to get on to what's so cool about the gun. Here we have the hammer. You can pull up and down. We have this part of the back. We have the uh, handle. We have a trigger. It does not work because if I were to put the trigger, it would actually screw up this um, magazine. So, as you can see, that would not work out. Get in there. Uh, sorry guys. Hold on. See, I have this phone attached to my head, and I'm sort of looking through my iPhone right now. So, yeah, you can already imagine how that is. So, we have the uh, trigger guard, the barrel, and these rubber bands hanging on the side. There's a reason why that's there. It's because the sliding mechanism that I added was... A it, it was a bit too big. It took up the whole interior of the gun, so I had no choice but to place it on the outside. Meaning that it would just you just see two rubber bands on the outside. But it does um, do the rubber band good. And also, when you pull it back, it does pull the hammer back, as you can see right here. It pulls it back. Not pretty good. So it's got the sights. Um, this thing doesn't have a quite long barrel back here because let me just let me just put the locking mechanism in place. Uh, where is it? Here we go. It has a working lock, and you just lift this tile right up here. My thumb is and then it'll just lock in place. So this is the um, barrel. It looks really cruddy. Also all because, as like I said, the interior sliding is really big, so I only had this part left. So I just had that there. Anyways, the uh, little locking mechanism is pretty cool, so you know you can lock it, take out the magazine, put a new one in, um, where is it? Heck. I'm sorry, I'm looking through my phone here, alright? So. Okay, so, found it. I know this is taking a bit uh, of a while here, most of all, because, like I said, I'm looking through my phone, not entirely, uh, doing this. Alright, so here we go. Dang it. Come on. This is quite annoying. Come on. Here we go. Alright, for any of you who did not see that, let me just lift this up again. So, yeah. I lift this up. And then I put it back into place. See right here? Yep. That's one of the coolest parts about the gun, at least some of my favorite parts. Now one of the downsides is that since the heavy rubber band is here, it's just very hard. The iron sights fall off a lot and the interior sand tends to just collapse a bit, leaving the whole gun to you know, leaving this to just fly off somewhere. Which gets pretty annoying time to time, but I mean, you gotta deal with it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this Colt in 1911, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Get 